is Mr. Evil Cheese. This is my review of the fourth skill Elder Predator made by Nick. And this is my fourth fourth scale Predator that I have got. And he is freaking amazing, man. Okay. Now I'm gonna just show you the box real quick because I gotta fill with a bunch of other crap already. But uh box is pretty cool. And uh, as you can see it's got that really awesome picture of the Elder Predator that kind of wraps around the front and the side. I love that picture, it's cool. And then on the back is a picture of him that looks like he's sort of like turning into like the uh, camouflage thing there. That's pretty cool. And he's got a description. There's a side, you can see the other one in this, in this series is Big Red. So yeah, that's a pretty cool box. Here he is. Then next to me, and he is huge. Look at that son of a bitch. This is the first one of the four that I've got that doesn't have a mask on, so that's pretty cool. I really want them on without a mask, because the other three all had masks. So to start off with the face, because that's the most different part for me, let's look at that thing, man. That is crazy. Look at all them little bumps on little spikes all over his head. It's awesome. And the Elder Predator has all the like piercings of things. He's got these rings that are actually pierced into his sculpt. That's pretty cool. And it's got that crazy ass predator mouth. Them eyes are just ridiculous. Like staring into your soul. It's like, shit. All them spikes that go across his brow there look like eyebrows. It's crazy. And the elder predator also has all kinds of like ornaments and rings and things all over his dreads. More than any predator that I've ever seen crazy. I love that. It's awesome. And uh, he's got the uh, basic classic predator body. You know, he's got the same shoulder cannon that the classic predator has, which is a pretty cool shoulder cannon. Look at that. It's awesome. Articulated. And it's got that crazy looking layered thing going on back there. It's awesome shoulder cannon. Just like the other fourth scale predators, he has the real netting instead of just sculpted on. I like that. He's got his necklace with a little skull on it. Another ornament. Then this little strap that has like the rib cage pouch. It has like little designs carved into it. This strap has like a little, I don't know what that is, like a gear or something on there? I don't know, it's pretty cool, whatever it is. And he's got this string with all these other little skulls on it. Just like Classic Predator. And he's got this double belt thing going on. It's pretty awesome. And there's like the, uh, the old style pistol or whatever you call that kind of gun. I don't know if it's from like a pirate or something from the old west, but it actually says what it says in the movie. It's kind of hard to see. Let me try to focus on this thing. Yeah, I don't know what that says. Something 1715. So that shows that the predators were around in 1715 hunting people. Can't tell what the name says. It looks like it says Raphael Antolini or something. I don't know. It's Something like Raphael Antolini, I don't know, 1715, but that's pretty cool. Guessing it's supposed to be like a pirate or something. But that fits right into his little belt nicely. It stays in place. And uh, I like this. This is something they did a little differently, is they put real straps onto his arm. On the regular 7 inch scale version, these were sculpted on, but here this is an actual separate strap that's wrapped around there. I like that, that's pretty sweet. And also on his elbows, there's some straps there too. It's like real cloth. I like that. Same with this arm too. It's got the elbow straps tied on there. And also the ones wrapped around this little arm thing right here. It's cool. And uh, it's got like the little frayed things coming off of his predator undies. I like that. Now the Sheath for the sword is a little bit different this time around than the uh, 7 inch version. As you can see, like on the 7 inch version, 
like they have the skull here on the belt but on this version it's like actually on the sheath and these ribs over here are on this pouch on this one so I don't know why they changed that around maybe it's more accurate or I don't know but uh, yeah, there's some like texture on the original but there's a lot more texture on this one I like the uh, four skill sheath a lot better but uh, as you can see there's like lots of detail down there there's like some little tooth trophies he's got there I like that a lot as for the actual sword you can see a little more detail than before I mean the original did have detail but it's so tiny it's hard to see it like it's got the bone and everything there's detail on the blade but this one you can just see a little better because it's bigger but it's like there's a texture on there and actually slams into a blade you can see the bone on the back and the wrapping's got some texture in it I like that just like above there's real netting on his legs that's cool as hell and uh, the things around the shins just classic predator shin guards and they're all also really detailed worn looking pretty cool one cloth on the back's got some stitches on the butt crack he must have used to shit out there maybe farted blew a hole in it had to stitch it up I don't know what these predators do but that's what it looks like probably happened there this predator also comes with alternate hands like the other alternate hands are like open hands as this one's made to hold the sword and this one looks like it's probably made to hold the gun which I'll put the gun in his hand in a second here but these hands just seem to be more like posing hands just to be like hey what's up and let me shake your hand hand that's what those hands are for so as you can see this hand is definitely made to hold this gun that's pretty cool this hand fits right into there to pull the trigger I like that that'd be crazy to see a predator, a predator running around through a movie using a gun like this to hunt people it's got all that technology and it uses some old gun but I guess blades aren't really that crazy of technology they use blades so it won't be that hard to believe that they'd use an old gun like this now say the paint job's a little improved compared to the 7 inch version 7th inch version looks kind of flat but the this bigger version almost has like a glossy look to it to the color I like the glossiness the metal the metal is a little darker the armor it looks a little darker and more worn I like that yeah there's a lot more varying in the colors on the armor it's really cool The actual skin shaded pretty awesomely. These little spiky things down here seems like they could be a little a little better, but yeah, they're still pretty good. I like them. The paint on the actual head is pretty cool. I think it could be a little more detailed, but it's still pretty cool. Same with the paint on these rings and things. Seems like it could be a little better, but it's it's pretty cool. Now this has the leg articulation of the classic Predators, not the Predator 2 figures, but the classic Predators where it just spins at the hips instead of having a ball joint. But uh, it's alright. For these big ones it's not that big of a deal to me because they're so big it's hard to get them you know, in crazy poses anyway. I just kind of want them standing straight up. So I, I don't know, I'm alright with the classic Predator articulation of these. So there's Elder next to Big Red. These are the two from this series. They're both really, really awesome predators. I'm gonna get my other two so you can see them all next to each other. So there's all four of my four scale predators that I have so far. And that'll be the masked city hunter version of him, of this Predator 2 Predator. And then the Guardian Predator from the Lost Tribe from Predator 2. And uh I think they're all really awesome. They're just badass. Like these two are the Predator 2 sculpts. These two are the Predator 1 sculpts. And uh, yeah, they're just slightly taller than these ones. And these two on the outside are taller, just slightly. And it seems to have to do with the articulation at the hips. But these things are just crazy. I mean, I wish I could get them all. They're just 
They're so big and expensive, it's hard to get all of them. Like, I wish I had the classic Predator. And I wish I had, what's, there's another one they made too, uh, I forget which one. Yeah, whatever this Predator is. I mix their names up. I don't think he's called the Guardian Predator. I think he's like, Wolf or, or he's Warrior Predator. That's what he is, the Warrior Predator. This is the Guardian Predator. And they made a four scale version of him, and I don't have that one. They also made the maskless version of City Hunter. Then there's three versions of Classic Predator. And there's also what, like, four scale Dutch. I don't know if I'm going to get all of them. They're so expensive, but it would be cool to have them. Those things are just amazing. So, this is Mr. Evil Cheese, and I think these Predator figures are just awesome, and I love this Elder Predator. He's so detailed, and he's got all them little accessories, like the, uh, the little, he's got like that old gun, old west gun, or pirate gun, or whatever that is, and he's got the sword, and ooh, all them little piercings and things on his face, and all the little rings all over his dreads. It's awesome. The crazy looking sheath with the skull on it, and the pouch with the ribs, and the double belt. He's just freaking awesome predator. So, if you're getting these, and you don't know if you want to get that one, I'd say get that one, but I'm pretty sure I already know that one's awesome. But, uh, yeah, I love that predator. I love all four of these. Just kick ass, and, uh, I don't know. Hopefully, I can get another one of these four scale predators someday, and if I do, I'll review it. But, uh, I don't know. This is Mr. Yo Cheese, and uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>